Hi everyone, welcome back to Soul Focus TV. My name is Samantha and today I wanted to discuss the difference between skin purging and skin irritation. Uh, lately at the spa I'm seeing a lot of people come in with a lot of new breakouts. It can be from the mask or um, how we sweat more a little bit in the summer. Or maybe you're using different products on your skin because it is a different season. You want to change it up a little bit. And these can all cause you to break out or get irritated in different ways. And the first thing you definitely want to do is identify is your skin purging or is it really irritated? So I wanted to discuss what each one is, the difference between the two, and how to treat both. So first we'll start with purging. So purging is when the congestion under your skin is coming to the surface. So this is one of those instances where it kind of gets worse before it gets better. Now purging will only happen with products and ingredients that are exfoliating to the skin or speed up your cell renewal. So this can be alpha hydroxy acids like glycolic or lactic acid, or maybe if you get a treatment like a chemical peel, all um, exfoliating to your skin, as well as beta hydroxy acids, and that's just salicylic acid. Um, a retinol, which promotes cell renewal, and benz uh, benzoyl peroxide, which typically um, is recommended for anyone with acne, that clears congestion in the skin. So. Purging is when these breakouts that live deep in the skin come to the surface. So when you see a pimple on your skin, it has actually been deep within the surface for four to six weeks, and it's just now coming to the surface and being pushed out of your skin. So um, purging occurs, like I said, with exfoliants and cell renewal, and that's because your skin exfoliants are taking off those top layers of skin, the dead skin cells, and retinols or things that promote cell renewal are helping your cells rejuvenate faster. And this is speeding up the life cycle of that acne that's deep in your skin. Instead of taking six weeks to come to the surface, it's taking three weeks to come to the surface. So now you've introduced something new to your skincare and you're seeing you break out, which isn't really maybe what you expected. This can happen because maybe you're a little sensitive or maybe the product's just strong and really doing its job. But the most important thing to remember if you're seeing breakouts from a new product, an active ingredient like the ones I listed, is, is it also healing quickly? So are the breakouts going away quicker? Is the pigmentation or the red spot from the breakout going away quickly? And if your healing is happening quickly as well as the breakouts, then your skin's just purging, it's going to heal itself, and you're going to have clear, beautiful skin once it cleanses itself Deep, from, deep within the surface. So purging can last four to eight weeks, and this is where you kind of have to be patient and just let it run its course. So what can you do to kind of handle the situation? First is you wanna keep your routine the way it is. If you're breaking out and it's healing quickly, just let it run its course. Don't use any more or any less of the active ingredient, but make sure that your skin is very moisturized moisturized, hydrated skin will heal very quickly because it's in a healthy environment. So if you're using an AHA exfoliant and a retinol at night, then you want to balance that with also two hydrating products, a hydrating serum or toner and a really nice hydrating moisturizer. So whatever active ingredient is balanced with a nice hydration and your skin will eventually be calm and healthy once the purging occurs. Now on the other hand, Maybe it's irritation. And we see irritation happen in a lot of forms. Um, you could have contact dermatitis, a true allergic reaction, or just inflamed irritation on the skin. And they all look a little bit different, but they're kind of in the same category. So contact dermatitis typically looks like tiny little bumps, um, typically around the jawline, and it kind of feels like sandpaper. It's leaning more towards rash looking than actual like breakout pimple irritated like that way. Um, contact dermatitis can come from a lot of different things. Um, we see it in men typically from uh, shaving or shaving products that gets into those hair follicles. It's very common with men in their beards to have contact dermatitis. Um, you also see it when people introduce too many active ingredients to the skin or too many new products that's causing that contact dermatitis. Um, around menstrual cycles, you can see contact dermatitis. 
And lately I see it around a mask area. And that's when I always question that maybe you're having a reaction to something on the mask. So is it what it's made out of? I recommend if you're irritated from the mask, 100% cotton because it's breathable, a little um, better for the skin. And then if, if you're washing them, if these are renewable masks, maybe you're irritated from the laundry detergent you're using. So those are all things to think of if you have a contact dermatitis irritation. An allergic reaction looks a little different. That's going to be inflamed, itchy, swelling, and have hives. Allergic reaction can only be determined by a doctor with an allergy test. So maybe antihistamine cream is working, maybe it's hives, it's probably you're allergic to some ingredients, something you're eating, something on your skin, but the only way to determine that is through a doctor. And then last, maybe it's just true inflammation on the skin. This is redness, sensitivity, or swelling and sensitivity around existing breakouts that were already there. So not cystic acne, which is inflamed. <laughs> it's kind of confusing, right? Cystic acne is those pimples that are deep in the skin. Typically, they're very large, they're sensitive, and they don't really come to the surface. A product will not give you cystic acne. That's something totally different but a product can make your cystic acne even more inflamed. So if you have cystic acne and there's re it gets real sensitive, that's probably an inflammation. So inflammation can be caused by any product, a cleanser, a toner, a serum, a moisturizer. It doesn't just have to be an active ingredient, like I mentioned before. And the good thing about irritation is that it typically can be treated very quickly. So with irritation, you kind of want to do opposite of um, with purging is that you do not want to lean into those active ing ingredients or active products. So let's say you have the contact dermatitis from your mask, you're having all these little bumps, it's irritated. Your first thought maybe is to exfoliate it or go at it aggressively. But the issue with irritation is that it all kind of leads back to your moisture barrier being damaged or irritated in some way. So when you go aggressive on that and your moisture barrier is already irritated, you're just making the skin even angrier. You're not going to solve the problem. So you want to lean away from the active ingredients. Use a gentle cleanser, something creamy maybe, or something that you know that your skin loves. Um, a hydrating serum or a hydrating toner, a moisturizer, products that have very nourishing and calming uh, ingredients to your skin like aloe, honey, oats, all things that are going to heal and repair your moisture barrier. The best moisturizer to use is an occlusive. So I think CeraVe has a great moisturizer that's an occlusive. And what that means is that it's going to lay on the skin, protect your moisture barrier, build that up and make it healthier. And it doesn't allow for any, we call it transepidermal water loss. It doesn't let your epidermis lose the moisture. It kind of seals it in it, protects it from any outside irritation, and lets your skin heal and just become healthier. So a great way to avoid both purging and irritation, or just know where they're coming from, is to introduce only one skincare product into your routine at a time. So that way you know if you're just, if you're, get a recommendation from your esthetician, they know a lot about your skin or your dermatologist, they know what they're talking about. But if you're just kind of going out to Sephora or Ulta and browsing, you want to just kind of introduce things one at a time. So you see how your skin's going to react to it, and then you can take it from there. You can add new products, you can treat your skin if it's purging or irritating, but you know what you're working with. You know where the problem is stemming from. Next, you also want to do an audit of your skin. This is something that your esthetician does every time you come in. They clean and they look, they do an evaluation of your skin. Where are you sensitive? Where are your red spots? Where are your breakouts? Where are you oily? Are you dry in certain areas? Do you have pigmentation in certain areas? When you have a general idea of specific areas and spots on your skin, you can kind of see how it's changing and adapting to different ingredients. That way, in a few weeks' time, at your next appointment, you can kind of see where the progression is going and if you need to change anything. So it's good to just not just think, oh, my skin is dry. Well, where is it dry? Is it dry in certain areas? And then you'll really know how to treat it and, and what, what, what's happening to your skin on a kind of more daily basis. And then if you are very sensitive and you kind of worry about introducing new products, 
it's best to do a patch test. So you can do them on the inside of your arm, but I prefer behind the ear just because the skin is, is more like your, the skin on your face. So you patch test back here, see how it goes, and if everything's okay, it'll probably be fine on your skin. So I hope this is helpful to you. You can kind of tell the difference with what's happening on your skin. And you can always come in for both of these, irritation or purging, come in for a standard facial, and we'll address the problem right then, then and there. So hope to see you soon at the spa. Call for your appointment today.